Today, we are talking about Splinter Twin. This is one of the most famous and talked about cards in the history of Modern. The unassuming 4-mana enchantment was one of Modern's most powerful cards, absolutely dominating the format and taking only 5 years to get banned. In the second episode of the Modern Rewind, we will be taking a deep dive into Splinter Twin's success and why in the end, it got banned. Josh is a couple rounds away from possibly making the top eight of this event. He is playing Splinter Twin in this brand new modern format. Yep. Tell us why you chose this deck. I chose this deck because uh, basically Jarvis Yu uh, messaged me on Facebook. He said, I should be playing a blue-red combo deck. I was like, yeah, I need you to be specific. He said, Splinter Twin is the best deck to play. Um, the more I talk with Jarvis, I talk with Alex Majelton, and basically, you know, the guidance was you want to end the game as early as possible. Uh, turn four, turn five, something like that. With counter spell backup is the best way. You don't want to rely on a handful of cards like Pyromaster Ascension or random storm decks. Um, and it basically like it lets you play removal spells main deck, something that Hive Mind doesn't really have room for. Pyromaster Ascension doesn't want to do. So it, it gives you consistency, it gives you power, um, the ability to interact with your opponent, and at the same time prevent them from interacting with you. It just gives you an awful, awful lot of. Fun. This is when Wizards of the Coast announced the creation of a brand new format. This format was called Modern. With Modern taking over Extended as the format for Pro Tour Philadelphia, the arms race to find the most powerful deck began. Many people knew Blue Red was gonna be one of the best decks, but finding the right build was hard. Some players thought a spell slinging deck like Pyrancer's Ascension was best. Others went with a more aggressive shell with Wild Nacoddle and other Blue Red spells. But from day one, many knew Splinter Twin was right. on top. Shake the hand and Samuel Aristrati by three games to one is the Italian champion of Pro Tour Philadelphia 2011. Yes, come Sent on, a boys. cascade of Italian players rushing across That's the hall it. to congratulate him. Oh, goodness nice. gracious me. Can we it's up? Splinter Twin that does the business up? at the end. With the first Modern Pro Tour results in, it was clear that Blue Red was on top, and they had five decks in the top eight with three different strategies. In September of 2011, Wizards announced that Preordain and Ponder were banned. The reasoning was because it made the Blue Red decks too consistent, allowing combo decks to be too powerful. Many thought this was the end of Twin, and Blue Red as a whole, losing powerful cantrips meant less consistency, but with adversity comes diversity. So Twin took on many different shells over the years, Teamer, Grixis, Jeskai, and base Blue Red. Even after the banding of Ponder and Preordain, Twin was still building up its impressive resume, winning major trophies at the World Magic Cup 2011, GP Adwerp 2013, PT Fate Reforged, GP Vancouver, and Pittsburgh in 2015. It was clear this deck was powerful, but was it an issue? With Wizards announcing the Splinter Twin ban, many players were happy, some were confused, and to this day, the Twin banning is one of the most controversial in Magic history. This was due to the lower win rates and the reasoning Wizards gave. The banning was because the deck was too popular in the modern metagame and preventing diversity of other blue-red decks. But when looking at Pro Tour Fate Reforged, the deck only took up 7-8% of the decks. Additionally, compared to other Tier 1 strategies, Twin win rates were 2-3% lower, which is a huge amount. Whether or not you were for or against the Twin ban, it is still one of the most impactful bans of all time. It changed Modern's perspective. We used to be a turn 4 format, where if you can consistently win before that, the deck would get banned. But ever since the Twin banning, the Modern format has gotten faster and faster, having decks evolve and become even grindier and quicker when killing. Even with the banning, Splinter Twin will still be one of the most successful decks in Modern's history, taking countless tournaments and being one of the most popular cards of all time. And whether or not that's a good or a bad thing is up for you to decide. Thank you all for watching the second episode of the Modern Rewind. Please consider leaving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next Rewind.